Got vision and destiny. At elemental, that's chemistry. All those heroes, that's infinity. It's end game. That's Yugi peoples, welcome to the commentary. All right, so this one right here is going to put my no hand trap omni hero build up against branded chimera. Just wanted to, you know, get back to a little something normalcy without playing anything crazy and decided to just play, you know, my omni hero deck and just to see how it would work with no hand traps, though. You know, I'm kind of afraid to play with no hand traps in my area just because evenly match is so prevalent and, you know, when they evenly matched away you know my super polys and you know book of eclipses or you know whatever you decide to play instead of hand traps then it's like oh you lose it all and on top of that i have no hand traps <laughs> so going into the board it didn't seem like super powerful at the end we're gonna go ahead and use ferris to go ahead and try to bait out you know ash we're going to tribute off our ferris to special summon increase and it's going to get ash there um I'll go ahead and start with this play line because i do have fusion destiny and mass change in my hand so you know try to bait out the ash and then if i do happen to get hit with mourner effect veil or imperm i can go ahead and dodge it with mass change and yeah so you know go ahead and take some time to read the monsters inside this graveyard because i know they do things when they have uh, a chimera the mythical flying beast i believe out on the board and he does count as that so now that the ash is out the way we're going to go ahead and activate the fusion destiny sending our mally and denier of which we drew neither one of them so that's a good thing and a bad thing i guess at the same time but yeah because he has those monsters in the graveyard that you know have effects while he's out there on the board we're going to go ahead and just enter the battle phase attack with dpe and then attack with increase we're going to activate mass change i do believe to go ahead and be able to get that extra 2400 damage in and then also i'll be able to activate dpe's effect and chain to go ahead and pop the mass change and one of his face down cards which ends up being called by the grave so it's a good thing also that i didn't um well no nah, it doesn't target so you know but luckily i hit that one first and i didn't act and i didn't you know put my dp into the graveyard that could have been pretty bad but yeah so now we go into mally denier plays and we're going to use that to add stratos because i know his face down card is the chimera fusion and we can go ahead and banish that with dark law because we hadn't did our normal summon yet so we would be able to normal summon stratos and destroy his spells and traps and be set pretty good for next turn with you know dark law is pretty powerful against chimera so one of the things about playing this going second i mean not playing this going second but playing this um what is it no hand trap version of heroes is you know i am running super poly so i have mud dragon and uh what's his name garuda in my side deck and i think i have to sacrifice like dread decimator and um what was it dread decimator and you know typically we play like babuska or something like that so they're not in my extra deck and then on top of that in my side deck i decided to play the shadal fusion uh card so we got three shadal fusions we got uh two cards to come in from the from the extra deck being the um what is it the winda and app cologne and then we're playing Ariel and Dragon as our Shadal monsters and such. So, yeah. You can see, since it's a local tournament, I did make sure it was okay with my opponent not to switch the sleeves. You know, some people would be tripping about that, but we, I asked him. He said it was fine. So, that's why you see um, some of my red sleeves off in there with my yellow extra deck sleeves because he didn't care whether I switched them all the way out or not. So, yeah. But we are playing the Shadal Fusion. Like, I just wanted to try it out. It worked really good in my Arm Neos deck, especially against, you know, the fire uh fire decks and stuff you know you can get rid of the princess get rid of their resurrection effects for the uh for the giant dragon thing that summons the two and yeah it just helps you you know get through some of that stuff also you know destroying back row and negating uh a face-up card on the board and such so yeah going into this as you can see my opponent goes into vampire he's playing a horse engine in here also and he's going to end up going into the vampire guy 
and doesn't hit anything luckily for me but he does end up summoning king tiger wangu which is kind of bad for my deck because that means like no increase no vion and such it means i i need my i need my uh my stratos here to be able to attack over that guy and hope that he doesn't have you know like chimera fusion in order to do something crazy but you know one of the bad things here is you see i did mill one of the increase and then i end up drawing the increase <laughs> also so like ferris is like really really dead to me which is even worse that he has the king tiger out there because now that means when i do summon stratos you know i can't like normal summon out my vion either and nor can i you know use increase in order to get it now but just so that i can have an extra monster on board we do go ahead and grab the increase and we're going to you know pitch i mean we do grab the fairies so we'll be able to pitch the other increase to go ahead and bring out our fairies no effect unfortunately but we do have the fusion destiny we're going to go ahead and activate the fusion destiny sealing mally and denier to special summon out our dpe which you know is probably not the best idea i probably should have went into the battle phase first and did these things just in case my opponent did have you know super poly or something crazy like oh actually no he had no cards left in hand i believe so uh yeah i wasn't too afraid of the super poly there but yeah we go ahead go into the battle phase start to destroy destroying things we're going to use dpe to destroy his face down card and one of the things, you know, I was thinking as I was doing, I was like, I'll go ahead and destroy the face down card now. And then when he goes to try to activate the first sarcophagus, I'll go ahead and um, DPE effect pop that one. But I did. I forget that the field spell also counts as um, counts as the first sarcophagus. So he'll still be able to bring this stuff out anyway. So, you know, rather small. It seemed like a rather small play mistake that I made there. Should have got rid of, you know, technically both copies of first sarcophagus so that he can't resurrect those Horus monsters again. So as you can see, they're in a standby phase. I bring them back. I'm going to go ahead and use DPE's effect in a standby phase to try to play around tactics and such. But as you can see, the field spell does count as the first sarcophagus anyway. So he's going to be able to bring out his Horus monsters here. Um, you know, I guess, uh, luckily he's not able, I'm not sure if he plays three or how many he plays, but yeah, he's got those guys out there on the board now checking for damage and different things that they do trying to see, you know, what their attack is. Uh, I guess like one of the good things about that is not like since the regular sarcophagus is not out there, he can't like send my cars to the graveyard and such, but yeah, he's going to, I really he's trying to see if he, you know, could hit something he got pretty unlucky with the vampire the vampire guy not hitting you know none of his branded cars to, i mean not branded cars but none of the chimera cars to be able to summon nor the uh one that works in a graveyard and such so he ends up going bringing out the photon guy he's got 3k defense which you know when you're not running dread decimator and such and you know having a hard time getting to things it can be kind of bad to get over because dpe can't decrease the defense of that card and also you know on a side note one of the things i don't like about playing you know also about not playing like uh about playing going second card straight up it's like a lot of times i draw thrust and talents or you know as you can see in my hand now to thrust and just like my opponent ends up having like no hand traps or such or things in order to activate so they just end up being kind of dead so you know there is that that happens sometimes but now we got into our vion out there on the board and we're just trying to see like what we can make what we can do or what else i can do because uh yeah my side deck's a little a little strange not my side deck but my extra deck is a little strange a little different because i had to find room for you know the mud dragon the garuda and then the shadal monsters when i'm going second so yeah we're gonna go ahead and start going into infernal divisor and such things here we're just trying to get some elemental heroes to our hand to be able to make such things we're going to reveal the shiny neo swingman to go ahead and add our um 
vanilla neos to our hand then we're going to be able to uh poly away that guy and our mally did we draw them oh yeah we drew the mally for turn two like man what <laughs> draws were not very optimal in this game but you know luckily my opponent didn't draw that great as well but now with the uh, with sunrise out there on the board you know we kind of have a way to get around the photon lord we just have to you know bait out his monster negate which he still hasn't taken the time to use just yet uh now we're just trying to get that out we're going to go ahead and go into wonder driver here activate miracle fusion and just trying to decide what i should bring out and we just end up bringing out the um wake up your elemental hero eventually you know link the well we needed to get a fusion monster worth banishing because i don't want to banish my dpe or my sunrise and then you know so we make the infernal rage first and then get back miracle fusion with wonder driver and then he's at you know enough attack to be able to attack get over the 3k booty of the photon monster and then we'll be able to attack directly with our other hero monsters and such so yeah we pretty much get that game you know pretty easily my opponent you know was pretty unlucky when it comes to those you know when it came to his hands and such and you know that's just how you go is sometimes Appreciate y'all for staying a while to listen, and I will catch y'all on the next video. My wingman, he come through, he level up, he go keep, he shining out and popping to over 9K. That's a breakthrough, be on top now. Here's a look at our world.